In this session, we're going to look at the subtotal function within Excel. You may have seen this data before. This is just some demonstration data on uh, membership of a sports club. And what we're going to do is we're going to sort this data into category. And then we're going to subtotal it based on the category. So I'm going to highlight my data. Go to my data menu and choose sort. And I don't want these two sorts, so I'm going to delete these. I want to sort by category. A to Z is fine. Have all my adults together, all my juniors together, and all my young adults together. I'm now going to apply the subtotal function to this data. It's already highlighted. In my data menu, I click subtotal. And I get my subtotal wizard. And it's saying to me at each change in, and it's defaulted to surname, but I want to every time the category changes, I want to use the sum function. You have other functions available to you to total the fee paid. So what this function is going to show me is it's going to give me a total membership paid in each category of membership. It has three other feature boxes down here. Replace current subtotals, I don't have any, so that's fine. Page break between groups, I don't want it on a separate page. I just want a summary and a summary below the data. OK. And what you'll see we've got here is you'll see that there's a different display here on the left hand side of the spreadsheet. And you'll see it's automatically put in some totals for me. So what we said when we did the subtotal function, we said for each change in category. So at the point where the adult membership stops and the junior membership starts, we wanted it to total our membership fees. So we can see here that we've had £1,500 worth of membership from adults, £300 worth of membership from juniors, and £960 worth of membership from young adults, giving us a grand total of 2760 Looking at these buttons across the side here, we're currently showing three levels of information. If I click to number two, all it's showing us is the tot the category totals and the grand total. And if I clicked to one, it would just be showing me the grand total. To get all your data back, you click three. Two levels of data shows you the category total and the grand total. All your data is still there, but it's just showing you in a different format and applying formulas for you. And if you have a lot of data, that can be a really simple way to amend how your data looks.